one of the best ways to build a business online. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I'm so excited here today. I'm going to have a great episode and I know you're going to learn a ton. I often get asked, what is the best way to build a business online? Well, I'm going to go through a couple things with you because I tried for a long time. I tried network marketing and it's a great business. I, I don't want to go against that. And I have friends that are extremely successful in it. I tried affiliate marketing and I'd still do a little bit of affiliate marketing because I believe in multiple streams of income. But a couple of years ago, what I did, I was looking for something else. I, I'm getting close to retired. I'm, I'm a teacher in school. Uh, I teach high school math at that dreaded Algebra 1. If you remember what Algebra 1 was like, I just was always good with numbers. So that's what I teach. But I, I wanted to pad my retirement. You know, my wife and I wanted to do some other things in our life. We wanted to make sure that we were living and traveling a little bit and just enjoying ourselves. And one of our dreams was to buy an RV and live in a lake. And through our online business, that happened. There's a couple things I had to fight through. The first one was imposter syndrome, because I kept saying, what? Who would believe me? Why would anybody follow me? I'm too old to do this. All these negative thoughts that were coming through my head, I had to get through them. And then one day I learned, or I didn't learn, I actually saw a couple master classes going on about launching and growing an online business. Not an online business, an online course. And I thought, you know, I can do that because I'm a teacher. I know how to teach. But then all the imp imposter syndrome thoughts kept coming back. I go, oh, who is ever going to listen to you? And I really had to create my vision. And then the last episode, we talked about a vivid vision. And, and I do that every year. I write my vision down every morning. But then I started thinking about building an online course, not a small one, because I did start out with a starter course just to get my feet wet and learn where to put it on the, you know, which platform to use. And uh, I can certainly help you with that. But that, what I did, I, I wanted to build a core course. See, my goal is to have a seven figure business. To do that, I had to have a six figure business. I mean, I had to make $100,000. And a lot of people do with $47 courses, $97 courses. But what I want to do is build a core course for either $497 to $997. So I started learning and putting things together on how to build a core course. I want to talk to you about building a course, what it does. For you, not for me, but what it can do for you. See, a core course, here's what happens. Once you create a course, you change your money situation. Because that core course, you can launch it again and again and again and again. See, I make my course and I put it out, I launch it, I get feedback from the people that are inside it and then I change it to make it better, right? And the first time I offered it, I had a price on it. That price is going up all the time because I have more value in it. See, I understood that if I can give value to people, I can make more of an income. So what developing a course does is one, it takes you away from the imposter syndrome. It improves your money situation right now because all of a sudden you're making money. Once you have your core course, guess what? You can launch it and launch it and launch it. So with that, it starts developing a recurring income, a passive income, because your course is continually making money for you. Now I can go on with what else you can do for that course, what other things you can put together, but I just wanna to talk to you about courses. Because many people, what they do and what I do, I, I have a free masterclass coming up really soon to teach people how to develop the course of three secrets of developing their own online course. I have that masterclass and I'll give you the link pretty soon. But what I do is I teach people how to get going. What's the first thing, the most important thing they have to do to, in their course to get going? And, and your course can be on anything. It can be teaching people how to be a photographer. It can be teaching people how to be a travel agent to go to Disney. It can be teaching people how to do landscaping. It can be teaching people how to be a gardener. It can be teaching whatever your expertise is. See, the reason I help people teach courses is because I'm a teacher. I know 
how to plan ahead, revert, how to go back and reverse. This is what I want to make. See, I want to make a $100,000 launch. So here's what I wanted to do. I did it in reverse. How many things I had to market and how many leads I had to get to be able to do that. I teach that. So here's what I want you to do. I want to get you to get rid of your imposter syndrome and you start writing down where you want to be in three years. I want you to start thinking about what type of course can you develop? What's your passion? What's your expertise? It could be baking chocolate chip cookies. All right. I mean, people are looking for that. You just have to find out where the people are. And I help with that too. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to marknelsononline.com forward slash register and register for my next masterclass. Share with you the three to five secrets on building your course, not my course, building your course. I have seven modules in it. I take you by the hand, show you how to get things started, show you how to verify to make sure the course is going to work, show you how to do the right content. It's just an amazing course. So here you go, marknelsononline.com forward slash register. And we will see you there.